Okay, good morning everyone. Another day, another fishing adventure. Today is almost a new lake for me. I'm out at Jackfish Lake, west of Edmonton. Uh, I've only fished this lake once and it was in the spring, first opening week, and now I'm out here in the fall closing week. So, solo mission today. Got a couple buddies in another boat coming out uh, to fish together. A couple subscribers and uh, let's, uh, let's go see what we can handle here. Gonna definitely rely on the sea maps, the Genesis maps from Lawrence today because this lake's very well mapped out. So I'm gonna look at sharp drop-offs, uh, transitions, rock, sand, that kind of stuff. There's no, well, we'll see if there's weed edges in here or not. Hopefully we can find some fish hovering down at the bottom of a drop in 20 feet of water and hopefully they're hungry for some minnows. Maybe we'll do some jig and wrap. Uh, we'll see, again, you know how it is. If something doesn't work, you switch to something else. So that's today's adventure and uh, let's see how it works. If you like this content, I appreciate it. If you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what you want to see more of. Uh, I got another weekend coming up. Uh, by the time this video comes out, uh, I may have been fishing it, we'll see. Uh, but next weekend we'll be back at Lac La Biche for what could possibly be one of the last weekends. But uh, as you know, I'm taking advantage of as much of this weather as I can and I'm gonna fish right until I can't anymore. The Evernude E-Tech's been phenomenal uh, every time out winterize it it's been i think three times now we've winterized it and today will be the fourth and i'll put as much oil in that uh fogging process as i can this year because i want to fish as much as possible so sit back pour yourself a good beverage and let's uh let's get some fishing here but there's a dock which is awesome there's some weeds Okay, first drop off, there's a bazillion perch below me. <laughs> Let's see, they're not, they're not afraid of the lure, but they look to be the same size as my lure. <laughs> I 
should do what I normally do. Let's try and catch one. I'll put that there. I'll get that drop shot out. No, I'll get ready first. Find a small minnow in here. Cut the tail off. So that's all I'm doing. It's just a small little tail on the hook lane hook. I'll reel this up. And put this one in. All right, so that's sitting on the bottom. I kind of wish I had a, my underwater camera right now and poke down there and see if these are perch, but we'll, uh, we'll try and do it the old fashioned way and catch one instead. Got something. That's starting to feel like a walleye though which is fine by me. Feels actually really, really nice fish. Pike. Ah, he's all tangled up and twisted up. That's why it feels so big. So he was in there looking for some perch. Oh, I gotta net him because he is twisty tangly. This happened last night, didn't it? With the pike at the other lake. That's okay. Tucked right in the side of the mouth. Oh, he lost my weight on that flip around. There he is, long skinny little pike. Oh, they're thinning out. This is all over me. There's a big mark here. Got him. Fish on. Nice walleye. Bring it in so I don't lose my weight. One of each. This one's a walleye. Of course there is. Okay, we're going behind. <laughs> oh, hook is hooks out. I think. Just a little guy. Yeah, it's a, it, it follows the shoreline. Oh, there's something up high and down low. Got, oh, that was a bite. He's coming back. Got, oh, oh, oh for two. What are the odds there's bait on this thing? He's still swiping at it. There's no way. Nope. Well, we'll keep the drop shot going because it's been fun.
and I like using the smoke reel. So we'll just go back to full size minnows. Two swipes that guy took. There's one. Lost him. Okay, well, it's working. When it's working, we'll keep doing it. There's a fish on us. Oh, there we go. Such light bites. Oh, lost it again. Oh, that cut me off. Cut me off good. Not to retie that. I guess we'll go back quickly to the jigging minnow so we can keep fishing. Uh, it felt a little pikeish. That's why I got more than one rod in the boat and just instead of having to sit here for five minutes tying I can just keep fishing don't think I have any other drop shots tied up anymore there's a fish marking it's just behind me there we go oh man they're biting but they're just so faint no there's no bait left They're here. They're all over me. They're all over me here. Are you using half the target? Of course. Oh. What's that? Of course. What else is there? Can you see the tears in my face? Yeah, with the active target. Do I have no active target? <laughs> How'd you pick this spot? You're just going slow? I've fished it before. Well, I got the sea maps. So you can, it clearly marked. What are you using? Jig head and a minnow. I, actually, I was using drop shot, but I just got cut off by a pike. So instead of retying, I just grabbed my other rod. Look at the tilt of, look at the tilt of his. Yeah, I got it on the, I got it on the top. Hey, okay, look, I get to watch uh, the, uh, the lot of tourists in real life. Again. I can video cave myself. You are. It's right, it's right here. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Nice little walleye. A nice little picture. Maybe. That sun might not help. I don't need to measure. There we go. I saw him. Oh, I lost him. I got my bait. Saw him coming in. Started the cameras and proceeded to lose them. What are you doing? No, I, do, I just saw water there, but it splashed in because when we have the, the buoys marked on, on the side. Ah. Oh.
You guys seen Cooper? Cooper or Cooper's owner? Mm-hmm. There's a minnow right there, and it is not mine. It's a perch. It's like a two and a half inch perch, dead. Here comes some fish. Right at my lure. We got two of them here. Feels a little more walleye like. Yep. Oh, there's a good tug. Awesome. Let's just get him out of here. Nice little guy. Nice little voila. Bait for what I was catching yesterday. Bang. Awesome. All right. On to the next one. Got another one looking at the drop shot. Wow, did not even feel that bite. That's how light it was. Nothing big though. Come here little dude. Oh, I love catching walleye. That weight out of my finger. <laughs> there we go. Another one there. Oh, I still got a fish down there swimming around me. Oh. John's just ignoring. No, I'm just concentrating on what I want to do. Plain jig head in a minnow. That's what I did. That's what I let on. Drop shot. <laughs> oh, cut off again. Okay, I'm going to 17 pound test. Oh, two fish on me. Got him. One was looking at the weight and one was looking at the bait. I got the one on the bait, I hope. You got the one on the weight, I'm really impressed. There's one slipping over towards you. Did you do the head on the bottom or lift it up? On the bottom. Oh, 
Little walleye. A little bit bigger than the previous ones. Look at you, fish. Right in the mouth. Right in the top of the mouth. Drop shot work back. Yeah, and I saw the fish swim over to you too. That's a nice one, eh? It's a beauty. A nice little picture there. I don't know how well that will turn out. Let's do this. Nice little picture. And let's get a release. Gonzo. What is that guy on? Powered surfboard? Kudos to him. This water's not warm. What is it? 47 degrees. 47, you're in Fahrenheit. It's 8.1 degrees Celsius now. Yeah. Same way, a surfboard. I just hang on to it by the present. Just where do you put the rod where do you put the rod holders? It's a little fast for walleye trolling. Oh, that was a heavier hook set. Didn't, my rod stopped. That's a walleye, boys. Not big, but hit like a brick. You guys got one? There we go. Whoa. Ah, just this little guy, but man, did he hit. Not like what I was catching yesterday. <laughs> Awesome. Still one down there. Where are the cabins at? Have you been there? To La Biche? I used to go up there every week for over three Oh, years. that's right. Well, so you know where Sir Winston Churchill Campground is? Yep. You know the causeway out? Yep. You know where the boat launch is? That I don't. So it's on the causeway out toward, but then it widens out and they built like 12 or 15 cabins on it. Okay. I was in one last night because uh, my buddy John's dad was staying in one and they he helped us get the boat out of the lake. He backed in for me, so um, so we ended up checking out the cabin. And basically, same one we're going to be in. Just we're two down, but uh, what are they charging for those? buck twenty. Oh, that's cheap. In the in this time of year, I guess in the summer it's two hundred. But the the bedroom had there's a bedroom with a queen, a bedroom with like three bunks that were really neatly made, like all out of two by four. Um, a total handicap accessible bathroom, like curb shower, so you could drive your wheelchair and a big curtain around it. Like, it was neat. Um, I don't know if they're all like that, but I think they are. And then a pull-out couch, so five, six, seven, or sorry, three, four, five. Six, like they could sleep seven or eight people. So you get that with four guys in it, and it's 25, 30 bucks a night. 
And then they rent them during the winter? Uh, we'll fish during the day and I come back. Yep. Yeah. That's better. That's not bad, bro. No. And oh, we got another, another barely, barely hooked. Maybe that's why we're uh, right there. Maybe that's why we're here. Let me get that little bait off there. Maybe that's maybe that's why they're falling off. Look at that. You see that from there? Yeah. Just skin hooked. Got nice little, nice little fish. I got this guy really good in the middle. Awesome. Nice. That's a good one. Looks like a good one. I got one all over me here too. That's a really That's a nice fish, boys. I'll just change the camera angle. Oh, I got one on too now. Just, oh, I lost it. I had it sit. Picture, John? That's a nice one. I had mine sitting still, paying attention to you guys, and that's a good art for here. Nice work, Todd. That's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Go we'll make babies. It's a walleye. That's not too big. Wow. Fighting bigger than he is, that's for darn sure. Still a nice fish, but... That one Todd had was good. Yeah, no, this one's not that hooked nicely, though, right in the top of the mouth. Look at that little thing. And he gone. I don't know. I might have broke my clicker. Yeah. Let's click too many fish. <laughs> Some farm. Ah. Back into them now. Two fish in three minutes. I don't know. I was lucky. I caught two in a row. Yeah. A little, well, bigger gator. Don't lose my weight, please. Really pale. Huh. All right, well, try and get another. <laughs> no. Oh, that's a pike. Or a perch. <laughs> nope. Exactly what I thought it was. A 16 inch pike. Oh. 
That is literally a hammer handle. <coughs> Bro. How do the fish taste out of this lake? <laughs> Slimy. Scott can tell you. Really, Todd, you just have to... You know, I was just thinking, man, I made it through this whole fishing trip and he didn't reach shit on us. I need to back up the boat. You need more than that. Psychiatric help. <sighs> Thank God there's a faint breeze. Wow, look at that. I have a hammer bigger than that. Two fish down here, one bigger than the other. Three fish? Wow. Wow. I hope it's a big walleye, but I got a feeling it's a nice pike. Wow, this thing's really uh, quite the fight. It's halfway over to you guys. It's a pike. It's a decent pike though. He's kind of lassoed. Um, this isn't, I don't help him very well. Ow, that burned my hand. Hmm. Ah, okay, get in the boat now. <laughs> I want my rig back. All right, there he is. Oh, that gill raker almost got me. Okay, time to uh, retie. I thought I heard that when I was down there, melting my line. And I looked up and I didn't see anything, and I got another hit. You find it easier on a jig now? Well, no, that's all I got. Oh, so I'm tying it, that's why I was melting the line. I gotta retie the line. They cut my, he got me for like two and a half feet. Although I just got hit twice when I was messing around. Put here on the phone now. Fish on. Ooh. I played this guy for a bit. I'm in the middle of retying a drop shot. I'm halfway. Another little gator. Yeah. Let's just give you the old adios. I love the barbless hooks for the pike. All right, this thing came up while I was uh, tying a drop shot on that other line. The guys next to me said, uh, you got a fish on there. So I reeled up this for this lake, I think that's a pretty good fish. Nice big. Ugh, straighten out, dude. You have giant eyes. 
beautiful fish. But I don't think it's even going to be over the board, no. No, just 58 centimeters is all it is. Like that's a keeper in uh, the fish, but beautiful. Second day was a little windier, but it was like plus six or seven. And you were catching so many fish, you were just warm. The first day I wore my, just a hoodie. Second day I wore my big jacket. Are you just using a jig head? Yes. I think that's what I'm gonna do. A little walleye. Very little walleye, but um, can I shake you? No, you're pinned. Boom. Nice little eye. Nice little eye and the quantum vapor. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Todd's hooked up over here. You guys are catching all the gators over there. Oh, there's a big one swimming over to Todd. Oh, they're everywhere. Told ya. Decent little fish, eh? Yeah, pretty. Nice and I think that's the sun. <laughs> nice. There. This could be my last jackfish fish for the day. White tail. Oh, they're just so chunky feeling, eh? I feel solid. Just another nice jackfish lake walleye. And I'm out of, and at that I'm out of bait. Okay, that's another awesome day out here, Jackfish Lake. Um, sunny, warm enough for late October. I'm cooking in with clothing I'm wearing here. Um, John and Todd, a couple subscribers, were fishing right next to me today. They did good. One of them outfished the other one. We'll let them dis uh, decide who that was. And uh, awesome day. It's Sunday now, so we'll see what the rest of the week brings. And uh, yeah, the season's not over. Take advantage of this, guys. It's, it's lovely out here. The fish are still biting. They're putting on the fall feed bag. So thanks for watching, and see you on the next episode.